What's up, insiders? That's right, you've tuned in to this week's News Flash, the quick, succinct set of updates that you need to navigate the world of YouTube's product features as well as its policies. Now, what have we got for you this week? We have clarifications, we have reminders, we have launches, so let's get into it. First up, we have a launch, the improved real-time card experience on iOS and Android. Now, what is this exactly what it sounds like? It's an improved real-time card experience at the video level and at the channel level for iOS and Android. And what this is, is part of an effort that we call feature parity, trying to make sure that these cards align with what you see on web, as well as what you see on mobile, making sure that they're really comparable experiences. Let us know if you have any feedback in the comments below. Next up, we have another launch, and that is for the mentions inbox on Studio Desktop. Now, what this involves is the addition of another tab, cleverly called mentions, in the Studio Comments inbox on desktop. What this is gonna show you is all the places that you as a creator have been mentioned. Now, let's pivot from launches to a reminder. This reminder is pretty spectacular. Dark theme is available on Studio Desktop. Now, this means that you're able to navigate through your content and your channel with a dark background and light text. Why is this important? Well, it reduces eye strain and glare all day round. Now let's pivot back to a launch. This one is called hashtag autocomplete suggestions. Creators over the past couple of months have told us that they'd welcome an awful lot more guidance around how to best use hashtags on the platform. And with this feature, we're hoping to fill that gap. What this feature will do is suggest hashtags that are more popular on the platform for your videos to help make them more searchable and more discoverable. This is gonna be launched and available on Creator Studio iOS, Android, desktop, on YouTube main app, iOS, Android, as well as on VOD and within the Shorts upload flow. Check out that link in the description below. Now let's talk about something that's a little bit closer to my daily work, and that is eligibility requirements to apply for YPP, the YouTube Partner Program, How Creators Make Money on YouTube. Now, in order to be eligible to apply, you need to have 1,000 subscribers, and at least 4,000 hours of watch time within the last 12 months. On top of this, you need to make sure you don't have any active strikes on your channel. Now, if you do have an active strike on your channel, you're going to need to wait for that to have expired or for it to have been overturned before you can apply to YPP. Okay, folks, we made it through another set of updates and that means that I get to approach my favorite part of each of these updates and that is your questions. So this week's question comes from the Waffle Galaxy, huge kudos for such a cool channel name, who says, it would be great to have a recent super thanks module on the creator dashboard. Good point. That way we can see and engage with any super thanks that come in easier. Great point. Well, we brought this to the team and they've replied with the following. Good news. You can already do this to interact with viewers that purchase super thanks comments, go to the comments section, of YouTube Studio and filter for super thanks. Thanks. You can reply to their comments directly there. Okay, we hope this is clearer for you. The Waffle Galaxy from the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators. That has been your weekly newsflash. We'll see you next week.